It's now time for the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, YouTube, iTunes, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and the themikewagnershow.com. Mike brings you great guests and interesting people from all across the globe. So sit back, relax, and enjoy another great episode of the Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today at 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention Mike Wagner Show. Get 10% off your first order. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the MikeWagnerShow.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Wagner Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, and Deezer, Stitcher, and more. Take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel. Also follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter. And check out the Mike Wagner Show on over 35 podcasts, Pat platforms and listen to the mike wagner show on your favorite device we're here with um two two terrific gentlemen from toledo ohio area i mean this guy's just awesome they're amazing we got stefan orisgo and sebastian brisino here on the mike wagner show and uh correct me on the last names as well too guys and uh they've got um a couple of hits out there called mime and if i was you and these guys are very similar to Tool, Seether, Smashing Pumpkins, and more. These guys from Toledo, Ohio, are just happening out there. So if you're in Toledo, check out the band Kerry here on the Mike Wagner Show. And once again, Stefan and Sebastian from Kerry. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us today. Yeah, man. Thank you so much for having us on. We're really excited. Hey, Sebastian. Yeah. We can hear it the other end. So, yeah. <laughs> hey, Sebastian, don't be so quiet. Feel free to jump in. So, <laughs> so. That's right. Sebastian has a pretty big mouth for the most of the same time. <laughs> yeah, I got a pretty big mouth. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys got to take turns somehow. So, you guys have been doing this for quite some time. You 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 originally came from Saginaw, Michigan, now in Toledo, Ohio. And you got a couple of songs called Mime and If I Was You and you've been influenced by a number of hard rock bands. And before we get into all that, um, tell, you got, tell us how you guys got started musically. So let's start with uh, Stefan. So uh, musically, I kind of started, my parents introduced me more to, I guess, like 80s rock, like hair metal, I guess you can say, like Motley Crue, uh, you know, Metallica, the harder stuff. And then eventually when I became a little bit older, like just when I was about to move to about the Toledo, Ohio area from Saginaw, my dad introduced me to uh, Siamese Dream, the album Siamese Dream, and it made me really want to pick up the guitar and learn, uh, you know, how to play guitar. Just a really awesome guitar-driven album, and, you know, I just kind of just learned guitar from listening to records, and then from there I just kind of taught myself uh, how to play scales and stuff like that and kind of piece it all together. Amazing. And how about you, Sebastian? Yeah, my song was... Uh in a band back in the day, his heydays. And so both my parents are into music, and there's a lot of music in my house, and eventually I wanted to learn how to play too. So, you know, around the age of probably 10, I got a guitar and then self-taught musician. And then sometime down the line in high school when I started playing out more and stuff, I picked up uh, how to play the bass and also the drums. Wow, that's amazing. And was that one moment that influenced you in getting to music precisely. So, Stefan, let's start with you first, and then, Sebastian, you can uh, jump in. I'm sorry, can you rephrase the question one more time, Mike? Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I think we might have cut here. So what was that one moment that precisely influenced you into uh, getting into music, Stefan? So I think the one thing that really introduced me to getting into music and playing music uh, probably was le- like seeing those early records of me, uh, I guess just the early records of listening to hard rock and stuff like that, just seeing uh my idols play in front of a lot of people and play and do what they love to do um i've just always loved music and how it makes me feel uh and you know it just it, ever since my early childhood i've always just been introduced to hard rock music like i said and it's just it, i love how it makes me feel i love playing it i love the feel it's an awesome feeling 
That's amazing, too. And Sebastian, what was that one moment that influenced you into music? The one precise yeah, moment. My parents, my parents were into music, so, you know, my mom would take me. I'd go tag along with some of friends to go watch uh, local bands play. So I did that a lot growing up and see the crowds there and then uh, getting into their music and, you know, whatever else is a good feeling. And I wanted to have the same thing. That is fantastic, too. And and who are some of your favorite artists and um, singers and songwriters growing up? Uh, yeah, I, my parents were also in the, uh, you know, 80s fan, I know they were both uh, teenagers in the 80s and whatnot, so I was influenced by a lot of Metallica, Guns N' Roses, and whatnot. And then later I started getting in the 70s rock, like Led Zeppelin and Rush, and even, uh, you know, anything but country, really. Mm-hmm. And, and 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 Stefan, how about uh, some of your f- other favorite artists and singers um, growing up as well too? Uh, growing up, I was actually um, I, I was a really massive, uh, obviously Smashing Pumpkins, Billy Corgan. Uh, his lyricism is just very, very poetic and very, very meaningful. Uh, I've always found the Smashing Pumpkins to be very, very close to my heart. Uh, just like I said, it, the Siamese Dream is a very special album to me. But other than the Smashing Pumpkins and Billy Corgan. I really, really enjoyed uh, Sean Morgan of Seether. I really enjoy uh, Adam Gontier of Three Days Grace and Santa Sonia. Um, Maynard James Keenan uh, from the band Tool. Also, you know, Adam Jones from the band Tool. Again, all very great uh, and, and cryptic musicians that I think are very, very smart people. It sounds like it as well, too. And how'd you guys uh, come together to form Carrie? So, um, long story short, um, I guess Sebastian can chime in on this, but originally the band was actually mainly just me just doing a solo project kind of thing. Uh, we had a revolving door of, uh, you know, musicians that would play for a while and then kind of just kind of get out. So I was like really the only the original member, uh, but we kind of just continue as this new carry. Uh, our drummer that is unfortunately not on the call with us, Jaron, just joined recently too, as well as Sebastian. But we've been together since uh, this lineup has been consistent since about what January, C Bass? Yeah, January. Our first show, January fourth. Yeah, our first show with this lineup was about January fourth, and uh, since then we've been on a three-week tour, and we've played about twelve shows in a span of about three months or something like that. Oh, very nice. You guys are off the good start. And how did you two uh, meet? We met uh, actually, actually. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Carrie's, Carrie's first show, their first show ever. Back in uh, December, I was a part of another band, and my band was on the same bill as Carrie. And uh, the band I was playing with, you know, I didn't particularly like that much, because they were a lot older than I was. And I saw them play, and I went up to Stefan after the show, and we exchanged numbers and whatnot. And then he ghosted me for a whole year before he finally texted me to, you know, <laughs> the band. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and, and you guys seem to have a pretty good chemistry as well, too. And we'll go ahead and play Mime and Vows You in just a minute. But first, listen to the Mike Widener Show at the themikewidenershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today at 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960 or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show, get 10% off your first order. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the themikewagnershow.com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash the Mike Wagner Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, and more. Take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel. Also follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram. Instagram and Twitter today, and check out the Mike Wagner Show on over 35 podcast platforms. We're here with the band Carrie with Stefan Orozco and Sebastian Brizzino here on base here on the Mike Wagner Show. And before we get to a more about the band and also talking about some of their upcoming projects and possible albums, here's one of their tracks called Mime here on the Mike Wagner Show. Here is Carrie. <laughs> You're 
That was mine from Carrie here on the Mike Wagner Show. And guys, tell us more about that song and what inspired you to write uh, mime. Uh, so actually, um, this one was written uh, before Seabass and Jaron, our drummer, joined the band. Um, but I would say that the main influence for that song was just we needed a heavy song. We needed something to get to be a, a crowd pleaser and uh, something that just grabs their attention. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I had this riff in my head that was, you know, like I kept hearing it in my head. I kept hearing it in my head uh, one day when I was at school and I came home, started jamming it out and uh, played in a few different tunings. And then, uh, you know, just kind of, you know, it's just about, I guess, breaking through your comfortability of who you are, I guess, and not feeling trapped like your mind. Mm hmm. It, it almost sounds like kind of like breaking the silence in a way, too. Yes, that is true. That is very true. That is amazing as well, too. And what do you what do you you guys write the lyrics and what do you guys base your lyrics on? Oh, we just like deep and meaningful and almost uh, encrypted lyrics. Cryptic. Uh, yeah. yeah. We try to do decrypted a lot and a lot of the stuff. The newer stuff is like. <laughs> Yeah, like Seabass is saying, and a lot of the newer stuff, but we, and a lot of the newer stuff, we write mainly more encrypted and more, I guess, mysterious kind of. We try to go for a band that kind of likes to be misunderstood, I guess. Does that make any sense? <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. And we're going to play If I Was You up next. But first, listen to the Mike Wagner Show at themikewagnershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today at 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show, get 10% off your first order. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the themikewagnershow.com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash the Mike Wagner Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, and more. Take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel. Also follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with the band Carrie from Toledo, Ohio, here on the Mike Widener Show with Stefan and Seabass joining us on the program. Right now we have If I Was You from Carrie here on the Mike Widener Show. We'll talk more about it and what's coming up for 2020. And we'll find out after If I Was You from Carrie right here on the Mike Widener Show.
was Carrie, if I was you, here on the Mike Wagner Show. And guys, tell us more about that song and what influenced you to write If I Was You. Steve S., you want to take the lead on this one, man? Go ahead, guys. Uh, uh, yeah, If I Was You. Like, uh, Stefan wrote that song again before I joined the band, so I'm not real too sure on the inspiration. Uh, Do you want me to kind of take over for that one? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's just basically a, a song for about people that just have done you wrong, you know what I mean? Just, you know, kind of taking the other shoulder and just writing your anger out on paper instead of doing it over, like, social media or, like, doing it in person. Just write your the feelings out on a paper, really, I guess, about a person. <laughs> It almost sounds like what's happening today as well, too. And, of course, um, you, you know, just another thing, too, which came up as well, too. And um, we, are we expecting any uh, new music coming out later in 2020? And what are your plans uh, for a possible album or m- more music and uh, possibly a tour later in 2020 after we get through this um, this uh, pandemic? Yeah. Actually, Seabass can fill you in what's going on with that. Yeah, right now uh, we're in contact and we're working with uh, Brian Lee of uh, the rock band Tesla. He plays the bass and he's the founder of that band. So we've been working with him since December. Uh, we already actually went out there to Sacramento to his uh, recording studio. We recorded three songs while we were out there. And we had plans to go back here in May, but we're not too sure about that now with everything that's going on. Mm-hmm. So everything's yeah. still kind of up in the air at this point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But we do have... Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, go ahead, guys. Yeah, we do have uh, three... We do have three songs uh, already recorded, but uh, we're kind of going to go back over them and kind of repolish them since we do have a new drummer now, and we kind of want it to be the new band. Right. Okay. Exactly. Okay. All right. That's fantastic. Looking forward to having you what you got as well, too. And um, who do you consider biggest influence in your careers? The biggest influence in my career, personally, are actually my parents, truthfully. Um, they really uh, influenced me to be who I am today. Uh, I know that's probably really cheesy sounding, but it's the truth. They really pushed me to do what I love to do, and I'm very, very grateful to have you know parents uh, you know, that support me and support the whole music thing. And uh, also, too, people that you know really influence me are my friends and also extended family people that come out to our shows and support us, wear our merchandise and, you know, stream our music and represent us. Uh, those people are my biggest influences just because they believe in me. So it, it makes me feel really good. Mm-hmm. And then how about you, Sebastian? Yeah. You know, friends and family are always great. You know, all I can say for all three of us, our friends and family support us a hundred percent and what we're trying to do here and uh, making the career out of music. This is not an easy thing to do, but we have the, uh, support 100%. And it really means a lot to us, and you know that really pushes each and every, each and all of us to you know do better so they can see it succeed. Mm-hmm. And that's amazing too. What's the best advice you guys can give to anybody at this point? Uh, for me, is just do not give up. Uh, and if you want a good career in music, uh, have structure and just be patient because it does. It's not something that happens overnight. Um, and I've had to learn that the hard way, you know, uh, I've, 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 we've been in the music industry, we've been in the machine and we, uh, we know we've seen what it really takes and just do not give up. That's my advice. Mm-hmm. And how about you, Sebastian? Yeah, there's definitely a lot of uh, naysayers out there. You know, they say you're trying to make it clear in music. It's not plausible. It's not whatever, but really you just have to have determination and, you know, not, be afraid to get dirty because it just takes a lot of hard work and persistence to, you know, make any headway. Not that we've made a great amount of headway, but from the time we've been together since January, uh, I could say, you know, even our likes on Facebook, they what tripled since I joined the band uh, yeah, less than half a year ago. <laughs> so, I mean, with, with the right people, it's all about the right people too. With the right people, you can accomplish, you know, whatever you guys set your mind to do. And I feel like we're on the right path to doing that. Mm -hmm. That sounds fantastic. Looking forward to what you guys have come up in 2020. Love to have you guys back. And once again, the band carry on the Mike Wagner show is Stefan Orozco and uh, Sebastian Racino, or best known as Seabass here on the program. Thanks, guys, for your time. You guys have been fantastic. Once again, tell us about your upcoming projects, what's your website, how do people contact you, where can people purchase or listen to your music? So uh, we have a website. It's actually just at the www.thebandcarry.com. No capitals or spaces. 
Uh, we are on all major streaming platforms for music. So Spotify, Apple Music, Deezer, Tidal, like almost anything. Amazon Music, we're on there. Uh, you can also find us on Facebook at The Band Carry. No spaces or capitals either. And the same thing for Instagram too. Twitter as well. Twitter as well, too, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's important as well, too. Guys, just want to say a big thank you for your time. You've been fantastic. Looking forward to having you again soon. Do us a favor. Keep this up to date. Look forward to having you back on sometime uh, later in 2020 and beyond. Heck yeah, man. Thank you so much for having us on. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you so much. Thanks for listening to The Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, YouTube, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Please support our program with your donations at themikewagnershow.com. Join us again next time for another great episode of The Mike Wagner Show. 